If you're thinking about moving to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and you want to get all the information you need to make the move, then stick around because in this video, I'm going to go over the stats, the market numbers right now as of February 2023. The numbers are in, so we can go over January. We can compare it to other Januarys, give you an idea how big the market shift was and possibly give you an idea of what may be having coming up in the future. So let's get after it. This is your first time to the channel go ahead and click the subscribe button below and click on the notification bell and you'll be the first one notified when i put out a new video about the real estate conditions in incline village lake tahoe nevada hey everybody i'm tahoe tony tuoto my nevada broker salesperson's license number is 144620 i'm the managing broker for exp realty luxury collection in incline village lake tahoe nevada and every day I get text messages, phone calls, and emails from people just like you who are looking to make the move to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and I love it. So if you're thinking about making the move in six days, six weeks, or six months, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and we'll start the conversation going to help you make that move to Incline Village, Nevada, because I guarantee this will be the best real estate experience you've ever had. The numbers are in. We've got the numbers so we can do a market statistics for January of 2023. It is now February of 2023. That's why I'm wearing red. You know, Valentine's Day is in a few days, so I like to wear red. But uh, let's look at the numbers. Knowing the numbers of what's going on in the real estate market is very important if you want to buy or sell a home. Knowing what's going on in the market is very important. So let's dive right into the January market statistics for Incline Village Real Estate. So. This is just for January 23. This is not an annual comparison or anything. So this this slide here is comparing January 23 to January of 2022. So our median sales price was 2.4 million. So that's down 34% from January of 2022. With three closed sales, and that number is down significantly. That's in half of what we did in, in the previous January. Our inventory was up by 30%. We had 47 active homes on the market with an average sales time of 171 days, which is up. Ironically, that's a up 171%. So 171 days is up 171%. Then the median sold price per square foot is down 32% to $674 per square foot. And we had four new listings, which is down 63%, but that's not the most accurate number because we had such a big amount of snow dump in January. It was probably one of the heaviest Januarys I think I've ever seen as far as snow dump. So I've been here over 30 years and this is one of the biggest. So that obviously affects the real estate market when people can't get around, people coming from other states to get into our town to buy in beautiful Incline Village Lake Tahoe now, they can't get here because of the weather. That makes it very difficult for the real estate market. So let's compare this January of 2023 to January of 2022. So last January, we had twice as many sales. We had six closed sales and the median sales price was 3.7 million, which was up 48% from the previous January. 36 active homes, that was down 63 days on the market. So that's about half of what, no, not half. That's a, a third of what it was now. 11 new listings and the median sold price per square foot is over $1,000, which is pretty good for Incline Village. And if we compare that January of 2022, now this is almost the peak of the market this January. So the peak of the market was probably about March, April is when our market peaked. So if we compare January 2022, let's go back to prior COVID. So January of 2018, this is what our market looked like. So we had 12 closed sales. So that was a pretty good year. And I was thinking back to that winter. I think that winter was pretty mellow. I think 2017 was a big winter, but 2018 was pretty mellow. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of precipitation, not a lot of snow in that winter. So that helps the real estate market. They had 107 homes on the market at the time with an average days on the market of 124. So that is that is about normal for what I remember. It usually takes about three months to sell a more expensive home at Incline Village. The median sold price per square foot is $376, significantly lower than the 1,073 of 2022, and then the 674 of this current January. 
And then we had 15 new listings. So again, I think that was pretty important with the warm weather. And then we were still having closed sales. So sellers want to get their homes on in the winter and get them sold. So that was January of 2018. So it's neat to look at a month. I think looking at a month compared to the previous month of the, or the months of the previous year is a pretty good indicator. But looking at the full year to me is probably the best analysis. But it also helps to look at month to month, especially if you want what's currently going on in the market. So let's go back and look at what happened in 2022. So in 2022, we had 144 sales, which is quite low. Normally we had about 250 to 300 sales. And you look at the median sales price. First of all, our maximum sales price was 18 million. And you gotta remember when you have big numbers like that, it tends to skew things. So we try not to use the average because we have such big sales sometimes. So uh, the close price for average or median close price for 2022 was about 2.4 million. So 2,392,500. And the list price, median list price was 2.4 million 26. So if you take that and divide into that, you get 98.5% of the asking price. And this is a pretty significant number. I add this, I wish they had this in here, but I have to add this myself because this number gives you an idea of the difference between what sellers want to get for the property and what they're accepting. So this 98.5% of asking price is a very important number if you are looking to buy a house and you wanna know where do we, what offer should we put? If we were gonna put an offer for a house listed at 2,426,500, what do you think we can get it for? Um, well, the median says you can get that for 2,392,500, which is 98.5, but you don't wanna start there. You would start a little bit lower. so. You know, maybe come in. This is a property is listed for two million four hundred twenty-six thousand. Maybe come in at two million, two million three hundred, two million three hundred twenty-five, and then just kind of negotiate back and forth. I like to negotiate. I do it respectfully, though. I never try and rip anybody off. I don't think that's right, but I do like to negotiate, and I'm not afraid to write some low offers as long as they're fair to people. If that makes sense. If you want to learn more about that, I'm happy to talk to you about that. <laughs> So this was 2022. Let's take a look at 2018. Again, this is a pre-COVID market. So our market shifted and went up quite a bit during COVID 2020, 21, and first part of 22 were very, very hot markets, very hot sellers markets. Not my favorite. I don't like hot markets, whether it's a, a hot buyer's market or a hot seller's market, it makes it difficult. I like it when the market's more in the middle uh, a buyer comes into town, they look at, pick out several properties, they look at them, they find one they like, they write an offer, we negotiate back and forth with the seller, we find a price that's happy to everybody, um, mutually agreed upon price, we work through the escrow, the buyer buys a property, seller gets the money, everybody's happy. When there's multiple offers on a property, it's difficult because you got to tell 10 people, sorry, you don't get the property, and you know, one person's very happy, but 10 people very sad. Granted, Usually sellers are very happy because they've got some really good prices. That's the only thing I like about it, but it just it makes it tough when you have to tell so many people, sorry, you don't have the property. So I like this kind of market. Um, so 2018, we did have a sale for 36,500,000. That was a lake, uh, lake um, front property. Uh, nice, nice property. And that one sold. So that skewed the numbers a little bit. So let's go down to the median, the median price close price was 1272000 So in 2018, it's significantly different than 2022, though we were at 96.8% of asking price regarding the close price and the list price. So that's significant to look at. So now if we look at 2019, so this is just after 2018, obviously, in price went up a little bit, the 1295000 and that was 98.8% of asking price. So we were veering more towards the seller's market here at this point, and we did have 223 sales. So when you compare 2022 to 2019, 2018, the prices went up. The close price to listing price is similar. We had quite a number, a lot more sales prior to that. So that's the magical question. Where's the market heading now? This is very exciting. I unfortunately, my crystal ball is broken. I can't tell you what the market gonna do in the future. I can tell you we are moving 
closer to a more even market. It's been very much a seller, a buyer's market. The first part of the year was a seller's market up through March, April was an extreme seller's market. And the market shifted, the interest rates went up, and now we've had an extreme buyer's market. So I think now we're moving back to more towards the middle. Um, it, it, it's tough to say if that's for sure, if it might be a little bit of pent up demand because we had so much snow in this winter, people couldn't get into town to buy things and they can finally get into town now. We've had sun the last week, it's been beautiful, I love it. So it's hard to say if this is a ship, but I did talk to one of my agents who has a team in Reno and she said she wrote an offer on her house today and they had four other offers on the house. So hopefully we're not going back to a multiple offer type market, but we are going back to more even market. And I think that is where we headed. If I have to say that is where we headed, I think we're going back to more even market and not an extreme buyers or sellers market. I don't know how long it's last. I read a lot of reports from economists trying to predict what's going to happen. And they're all different. They all different. Some of them say this is just a spike and then something bad's gonna happen. It's gonna go back to, to a stream buyer's market. Some of them think this is the norm. They don't think it's gonna be ever be extreme seller's market for quite some time, but this is the norm. People have accepted the interest rate for they're still historically not high, but they're obviously twice as what they were in the last uh, 24 months. But sellers are smart. I When I work with my sellers, I hey, look, we're getting this offer. Instead of coming down so much in price, why don't we buy down the loan so the buyer is gonna pay a lot less money for the house over the years, and then you as a seller are gonna get a little more money out of the, the sale, and it makes everybody happy that way, and that's been working out really well. So if you're not using me as your realtor, and you have a realtor, and you wanna buy a house, go ahead and ask them, hey, maybe we can buy down, buy down the loan and get a better interest rate, and that way, you as a buyer over the years are gonna get a much uh, better rate. It's gonna cost you a lot less money in the long run. Or if you wanna negotiate with the seller and just have the seller come off their market price, and then you're thinking maybe in 12 months or 18 months, we can refinance and get a better rate instead. I don't know what the better decision is. That's, you know, like I said, my crystal ball is not working. I think they're both gonna work out well. You get a lower price or low interest rates. Either way, you're gonna be paying a lot less money as a buyer. So that is the 223 January of 2023 market update. So thank you so much, Tahoe Tony. If you thought getting that market update was helpful, go ahead and click the icon notification below and you'll be the first one when I put out a new market update for February 2023. Because if you need someone to guide you through the real estate process in Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, Tahoe Tony is your guy. So if you're thinking about moving in six days, six weeks, or six months, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, and I guarantee your move to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada will be the best real estate experience you've ever had.